We all know jet noise is a way of life in Hampton Roads. The roar of the Super Hornets can be heard all times of day and night. Well, now the city of Virginia Beach says it would welcome more jets if the Navy is into it. Ten on your side is on this pitch. Here's Brett Hall. For more than 20 years now, ensuring that NAS Oceana stays right here in Virginia Beach has been top of mind for city leaders. And that now continues with the request for new jets. Vice Mayor Rosemary Wilson has been serving on Virginia Beach City Council for nearly 24 years and remembers well when that sound was in jeopardy. I went to the hearings in Washington. I was very, very involved and, uh, you know, we embraced them. We, we were so afraid that we were going to lose them. Lose the Navy's largest master jet base on the East Coast due to the mid-2000s base realignment. And with it, there would be more than 10,000 men and women who serve at NAS Oceana and their auxiliary bases no longer here. While the F-18s do continue to fly here, it's what isn't landing on the runway that now concerns Wilson. A lot of the new jets are going to the West Coast. Specifically, F-35. So we want to make sure that we can get our share of the, the jets or whatever future aircraft there are here in Oceana. She says this will ensure Oceana is vital to the Navy for years to come. It's why she, along with Mayor Bobby Dyer, are putting forward a resolution welcoming new jets. I talked to our congresswoman about it, and she thought it would be very helpful to her job in uh, Washington. She says from her point of view, the complaints from neighbors about noise is nothing like it once was. Most people I know, we just say it's the sound of freedom. Of course, you have the chance to have your voice heard on this matter, too. It's tentatively scheduled for a public hearing and vote on July 2nd. In Virginia Beach, outside NAS Oceana, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.